Hi, it's Stephanie, and uh, today I wanted to show you how to create this calendar effect. This was inspired by going to the bank the other day and seeing one of those old calendars on the wall where the bank employees were actually changing the numbers every day, and it just rem reminded me of, of, of growing up, actually, and I thought it was quite cute to see that still in action. So this is my interpretation of what I saw, and let's show you how I created this. This is um, just, here are the elements that I used. So basically the first element is a just a rectangle with a fill. So let me take a look at this. So if we look at the fill, it's just a gradient fill. It's a linear fill and we're doing a linear fill uh, up. So up from the bottom. And then we have three gradient stops. The first stop is sitting at 15% and I just chose a light gray, this um, white background one darker 15%. Stop number two is at 85%, and it's lighter yet again. It's the 5% variation. And then stop number three is at 45%, and, and it's just a pure white. The line color is a gray. So I just picked one of these grays, just a subtle line color. So this gray would work just fine. And line style, I just set to 0.5%, but you can make that a little thinner if you feel it's a, a bit too thick. And that's all I did. I didn't add a shadow. I didn't do anything else with this. And then once I had that done, then I just simply uh, copied and then rotated just to create a bit of a uh, kind of a messy look, I guess. And that's kind of what the calendar looked like in the bank. It wasn't quite perfect when they were flipping the numbers over. The previous numbers were kind of hanging in disarray behind it. And then I created a proportional circle. So I just grabbed my circle tool, held down my shift key, drew in a little circle. I zoomed up when I was creating this, um, just you know, so I could see the effect a little more clearly. But this is what I did. So I drew the circle, I filled it with a darker gray. So I just grabbed this gray here, the black letter 15%. The line color, there is no line. And I just worked with the 3D format. So I added a top circle bevel, this one here, of 11 point both height and width. And then I played with the material and found that warm matte worked well and that the lighting of contrasting also worked well. It created the effect of a little bit of dimension, a little bit of depth in that in that circle, which is actually going to be a bit of a hole punch in the number paper itself. Now this is the hook where, where the paper is flipping over. So this is just a rounded rectangle. And what I did on the inside here is just a standard gradient fill. It's a linear fill from the left. And then at three gradient stops, and these are just varying shades of gray. So stop number one is zero, and it's sitting at this shade of gray here, black, lighter 35%. Stop number two is at 50%, and it's just a bit lighter, this gray over here. And then stop number three is sitting at a pure white at 100%. Uh, the lines, there is a line on here. I just grabbed a gray line. So some, some kind of darker, darkish gray, this one right here. And line style, 0.5 again. And then I just grabbed both of those elements and I went up to my menu up top and I did an align center, which put them on top of each other. Now at this point I grouped them, just so it's a little easier to work with them, and then positioned it on the paper where I wanted it to be. So, you know, right about there. Now it's going behind the paper, so let me bring that to the front. And I'm just going to take it down just a little bit, and then I'm copying that, and then just pasting another copy of it over here. The final step is just to add a number to the piece of paper, and again, that's sitting behind the paper, so let me bring it to the front. And I also did an align on this, so the number and the top piece of paper. I just did an arrange, align, we want to align to the center, and we also want to align to the middle so that those objects are nicely centered. And then the final step was I just grabbed all of it and did a copy and placed another copy to the right. Now what I did here as well is I changed the number. Obviously it's going to be a different number on this side. And then I played with the rotation of one of the pieces of paper just so it didn't look quite the same as the other side. So something like that. So the two look a little different. So that's how you create the calendar numbers. Now I also did an animation effect here. So if I open up the animation window and go to custom animation, I'm just going to play this back. So you can see what I did. All I did was I did a descend on the top pieces of paper, I did a descend animation, and then I had it fade in a number. So it created, you know, it wasn't a flip effect, but kind of. It creates a, a bit of a, a sense of that. So there you are, calendar numbers.